everyone. This is Mastery and Crack with Sam J. Taekwondo. All right, I know a lot of you are home, and I want to give you a little bit of a challenge, okay? We're going to be working out. It doesn't matter if you're working out in Taekwondo or you're working out in something else. All right, we need to stretch. We don't want to work out hard and have our muscles really tight. We want to be working out hard, stretch out nice at the end. All right, get nice and flexible so when we come back to do Taekwondo, it's a lot easier. So one of the challenges I've got for you to do over the next month or two, all right, is with flexibility. So you're gonna need a measuring tape. You're gonna need pen and paper, all right? I'm using two kick shields, but you guys can use books or something similar that slides. Now the point of these, I'll just show you momentarily, all right, Ethan's gonna stretch, is to help you get the measurement. A couple things to keep in mind when you're stretching. One, you don't want to push down too hard. You want to hold it for about 60 seconds on the stretch. All right, on each of the stretches, you want to hold about 60 seconds. Okay, you don't want sharp pain when you're stretching. Okay, you want a little bit of tightness, but not sharp pain. Pain is bad. All right, so. We're going to get Ethan set up here now. Or actually, Isabel, if you could, uh, I'm going to come over to you. Let me know when you can see this. Okay, that's good. Good here. So, what I want you to mark down, you make a little kind of graph. F is for front stretch. L is for left side, that's toes pointed to the ceiling. R is for right side, toes pointed to the ceiling. These are side split positions. All right, and here, I want you to put the date. So each day you do it, all right, ideally three, three to four times a week, you record it and you come down here and you can actually watch your progress to see if you're getting more flexible. So I'm gonna move back. All right, Ethan's going to go in side split position first. So Ethan, I want you to come here where I am, okay? The point of these, either books or in our case, kick shields, is that they slide out and let you get the measurement. So Ethan, if you want to come in between here, I'm not going to get him to the hole for the full 60 seconds. I only want him to demonstrate. Okay, so hands come down in front, give you support, you want to relax, all right? You want to take the measurement at the end of the 60 seconds, okay? So here, I slide it in through, Okay, from base to base. So Ethan, if we imagine he went 60 seconds, he is at 75 and a half inches. And obviously you can use metric if you want, so bring your legs in, Ethan. So I will come to my sheet for the date today, front split, 75 and a half. All right, so Isabel, slide back. Now, I'm gonna do the left next. So the left foot is pointed to the ceiling. So Ethan, side foot please. All right, the left foot's in, out. So this is the left foot. This is how I figure out which side is left. Push it into here. You either measure from where his heel touches or where his toe hangs out. It doesn't matter which, as long as you record it the same way every time. That's critical. All your measurements have to be done the same way Otherwise, you can't tell if you're having any success. Because if I measure from his heel today, and then from his toe the next day, it's gonna seem like he's a lot more flexible, but he's not, I'm just measuring from a different spot. So after he gets his 60 seconds in, again, I do it the same way. I go all the way out. Here, oh, okay. I have to pick this up, make sure it's nice and straight. Okay, slide in through. Okay, Ethan, side lift the left hand a little tiny bit. Good. From here. So at this one, he's at 72 inches. All right, so bring that on Ethan. So for the left, I write 72. And we do the same thing for the right. All right, so let's get stretched out. Right foot. Okay, I'm going from his toes to this side the same way. I'm gonna go check the other side. We're gonna measure here from the heel. So once he 
get 60 seconds, again, same way. We want to be consistent in our measurements. So, here. So this one, 74 and a half. So we know that that leg is more flexible, which isn't surprising. All right, it's very common to have more flexibility in one leg than the other. Okay, so this is what we have for him today. And then the next day he does it, we measure. And the next day he does it, we measure. Now, after you're holding it, 60 seconds on each side. So center is 60 seconds, right is 60 seconds, left is 60 seconds. Afterwards, no big running, no big kicks. Okay, this is an end of your workout stretch. I want you to give this a try. Remember, after the end of every class or every workout, record it, see where you are in four weeks, see where you are in eight. And if you're doing this properly and stretching well at the beginning and stretching a lot like this at the end, you're gonna see good results. All right, until next time, See you guys.